Welcome back CL fans. Uh, it's been almost four years since I bought this car and I've uh, received a lot of comments on it. Um, so I thought I'd make a part two of my uh, CL600. So it's almost been, uh, it's, all, it's been almost four years and when I bought it everything seems to be fine but uh, as time went on little things started uh, breaking down or stopped working. So I'll give you a list of things that uh, stop working. Uh, the, um, I have a list here, so excuse me while I have consult my list. The front turning signal, uh, driver's side, works 50% of the time. The stereo deck uh, still looks really bad because when it was bought, now this is a Japanese import, so in Japan, I guess they like to put in their own TV uh, unit. So what they did was they had to uh, cut part of the uh, console, the wooden uh, console there, to fit a regular um, unit. By doing so, uh, it leaves a little gap around the whole unit. And that just looks really bad, so they sort of replaced it or filled it in with uh, this really, you know, uh, velvet uh, filler thing, and it looks bad. So uh, it still looks bad, but at least I, uh, now I've replaced it with a North American unit. At least I can have some music. Uh, next thing, uh, the soft or self-closing doors stopped working. And everything that was soft closing stopped working. So that means the doors, the uh, rear uh, trunk lid um, stopped working. So I've been told that it's a, uh, a pump and that could be very costly. A thousand to twelve hundred dollars used. So, anyways, it stopped. Uh, but the biggest thing, the biggest problem with the car was the oil cooler. Now, if you've owned a um, CL600 uh, this generation, uh, and for the first three years, I think up to 203, until they did the twin turbo version, uh, the V12. Not, not, the, uh, not the V8 CL500, but all the V12, the oil cooler, uh, sits in the V and it can leak due to lack of use. So if you do own one or if you do plan to buy one, you got to use it or else uh, you run, might run into uh, a leak problem. Uh, now, I'm basing that on um, the fact that I belong to a Mercedes group and another member in the group also has a CL600 and he has over 450,000 kilometers on his and no leaks. Mine, uh, it's got 110, 112,000 kilometers right now. Uh, it was leaking. But anyways, uh, the problem is that uh, the oil cooler itself sits uh, below uh, the heads. Well, in order to take it out, you have to take the heads off. So there's a lot of work involved in getting the oil cooler um, out and you know uh, fixing the problem. But that's just that's just the tip of the iceberg. So uh, this is what really actually uh, is the problem. So take a look at this. So here is the source of my oil leak. This is the oil cooler. Uh, for the V12 Mercedes from uh, 2000 to 2003. I think they changed the design uh, when it, they made it twin turbo. Uh, now, very similar to all the V8s, but the, all the V8s, uh, they designed it that this can actually be taken out without taking off the heads. Whereas this one, you have to take off the heads. Anyways, so my initial um, suspicion was that uh, it's gotta be a gasket. And there is a gasket that goes underneath here, and this is where it goes onto the uh, the valley of the V12. Well, that wasn't the case. The actual leak came from the actual oil cooler itself. Now, this is held in place by these little uh, screws, torque screws, and when you take them all off, it's this gasket that is leaking. And of course, it's a Mercedes only gasket. 
which means nobody else makes them. And uh, you could try to uh, reproduce this gasket, but uh, if it doesn't work, you'll have to take everything out again and fix it. I didn't really want to take that chance, and the only way you can get this gasket again is to buy the whole stupid thing from Mercedes, twelve hundred dollars from um, the my my uh, local dealership. So that's the pain of having a Mercedes sometimes. So once it's done, uh, you're good, and you have to drive it. Uh, like a, a member in my group, he has 450,000 clicks and no leaks. So mine has 110,000 to 112,000. I think I have another 340,000 to go. So I'm pretty happy that this is done. Thank goodness. Anyways, um, now that the oil cooler is fixed, uh, while my mechanic was doing that, uh, I also had a few other things done. Um, he changed the spark plugs. There are 24 of them, and they were about $18.50 each. Okay. He did the motor mounts and a couple of pulleys uh, that was making a little noise, so we had that change. And a whole bunch of coolant hoses that was in that area that was... Um, covered with um, oil and stuff like that so all that was done it was a very costly uh, repair uh, but it was needed because if you don't have uh, the proper oil pressure due to a leak uh, that could damage uh, engine parts anyways uh, it was uh, a total of about eighty three hundred dollars uh, in um, in fixes uh, but now it's running great, okay? It's, uh, it's better than what I had expected. When I first bought the car, if you go back to my first video, I was very excited about the car. And it drove fine. Um, I've never experienced a V12 before. I thought I'd, I was experiencing V12. But after all these fixes, it was better than when I had the car because, as it turned out, uh, this car was worked on before and whoever changed the spark plugs did not put in the right plugs. So now it runs better, it idles better, oh, it's just great. Um, when I first got the car, as time went on, the leak got worse and worse, so I was, a t was, I was taking it easy on the car uh, and I didn't drive it as much. I drove it less and less, uh, fearing that something else might, pro might happen. So I didn't really enjoy the car. At one time, I really wanted to sell this car. Um, now I'm sort of glad I didn't, because once all these fixes were done, um, it's driving great. I'm not afraid to rev it uh, anymore. <laughs> I am really uh, experiencing a V12 car right now. Um, more so than when I first bought the car. Okay, so uh, those were the uh, the things I've done to it. And uh, during that time, I also changed the wheels. Uh, it came with um, some really cheap knockoff, whatever, sort of, I don't know what they were. They didn't even really have a brand name. But now I have the uh, Brabus wheels, and I think it looks way, way nicer. Um, so uh, that's the update on my car. Um, here's some tips for you if you're thinking about um, buying a CL600. Uh, make sure there are no leaks. Okay, you can tell uh, if there's an oil leak uh, that has that is associated with the oil cooler when it starts coming dripping down from the back of the engine or the front of the engine too. I think uh, it depends on. Uh, where the leaks coming from uh, and it'll go on to uh, uh, where the transmission connects to the uh, the um, the motor uh, that part there will be very uh, wet uh, with oil uh, also checked if the uh, when the spark plugs were done um, I was told by, by my mechanic there's about a four four year lifespan on the spark plugs and then it needs to get changed uh, the spark plug 
service itself is costly. Uh, the spark plugs themselves are costly. So um, when the spark plugs are done and then you really uh, will experience the all 12 cylinders. Uh, make sure whoever works in your car take it easy on the coil packs because each side uh, are about a thousand dollars to replace the coil packs if they crack or break or whatever. Um, but over time they will have to be replaced so see when they were replaced. Mine were still okay uh, so the mechanic put them back on. Um, make sure all the soft closing uh, features still work and if it doesn't he says it's probably it, it sat for a while the car sat for a while and it's uh, there's moisture that's getting uh, onto the pump and when the pump does try to work it's uh, it's not it's leaking and it's probably sucking in water instead of air something like that but anyways uh, yeah it's uh, right now it's a great car and I, I'm glad I didn't sell it uh, but anyways I'm gonna do this uh, like the same thing I did with the uh, first video I'm gonna try to uh, uh, balance a glass of water onto the engine and see how it fares uh, compared to the first one. Okay, so the first time I did it, um, I had the glass, I got the same glass, I think same amount of water, and I revved it to 3000 RPM. Uh, this time I'm gonna start uh, uh, cold, well not cold, but I'm gonna start with the engine off, start it, and then rev it to 3000 RPM. All right, let's see. Uh, if there's a difference with the new motor mounts. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but to me, I think there, there is a difference. It's uh, the water doesn't have as many ripples this time. And uh, the engine is a little quieter. Last time it was a little louder, probably because of the pulleys. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, there you go, folks. Okay, so thanks for watching. And uh, if you do get a CL600, uh, text me or comment at the, at the bottom and let me know. And I'd love to see your, uh, your ride. Okay, see you later.